Hello, my friends, and welcome to more computer stuff getting down and dirty with computers. Doing this binaurally again. You've seen this computer. You saw me uh, installing a bunch of new computer parts. You saw me put in a new CPU uh, and a new motherboard. Fiddle around with all that. You saw me put in some uh, new RAM sticks. But now we have the best upgrade, the most important upgrade of them all. And that is a graphics card. That's right. I managed to get my hands these things. Don't tell anyone, but on a 3080. That's right. And NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. Now, these are really, really difficult to come by nowadays. It's been a month or more since these uh, were released, and stock has been extremely iffy. Very, very difficult to come by. They're so hard to find. That is, if you're unprepared. I had to join a Discord that was specifically for the purpose of tracking when different websites uh, got back in stock. So they would have bots like scouring all these different websites that sold these graphic cards. And as soon as it um, went back in stock onto a site, the website would push a link uh, to the Discord, and uh, honestly, you had to be um, one of the. Uh, I mean, it's it's sold out in seconds, basically a minute max. So you have to be ready to click on it, to pay, to do everything, uh, while a thousand other people are having the same problems. Um, so so many times the websites crash, or you you add it to your cart, but then it crashes at checkout, or you add it to your cart and it's already out of stock. But I managed to pick up this bad boy right here. This is a Gigabyte Gaming OC version of the NVIDIA 38. Yeah, this is one big boy. It's, uh, it's expensive, <laughs> I'll tell you that. Um, so lucky to get your hands on it because so many people are trying to get one of these real funny story um, actually got it from Best Buy because they had a big drop and a lot of cards were in stock but uh so typically when you do it you just you just go you're like click check out add a card check out go 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 um, so I was actually going through this checkout process with multiple cards uh, at the same time because you know I figured hey you would be a better chance that way um, and I figured you know most of them would crash anyways or not be able to check out but I actually was able to grab two count them two 3080s um, the other one being the founders edition the uh, reference card straight from NVIDIA. Um, so many people are struggling to get one of these and I extreme by luck. I didn't even mean to get two of them. I was just, I assumed one of them would uh, crash and fail. I wouldn't be able to check out, but whoops, sorry everyone. Um, but uh, I decided to go with the, um, the Gigabyte card here and uh, we'll, we'll just sell uh, the other card, which 
Actually, I have already sold the other card. So hopefully this one works and I'm not stuck. So, I have this card here. And for your ASMR relax, relaxation, relaxation, that's the word. I don't know why I did that. It's just, it's like, if, if you build your own computer, you know the graphics card is like your baby. It's so expensive too. But it, it's your baby. Um, so in this video, we're just gonna unbox this. I got my system here. Should be a pretty easy swap. Uh, to just open up the case, pop out my old uh, card. I have a uh, EVGA 1080 FTW in there currently. Um, but we're going to swap out this. So it's uh, about two generations old, you know, 1080, 2080, 3080. So that's about four years. Uh, they usually release every two years. But this, so this is brand new. I'm getting at the beginning of a cycle. It's really good. This should last me a lot. I, I really like um, RTX, the ray tracing features it should make games look really really nice uh, DLSS will help uh, games go at a much higher frame weight frame rate as well I mean so I have I had the top of the line graphics card for a while but as games progress and get a little bit more intensive intensive um, it's clear that my FPS drops are ever so slowly getting more and more noticeable that I can't play a lot of the most modern games on ultra quality uh, and still get really good FPS, you know, at minimum 60, um, but my uh, monitor goes up to 165, so I want to take full advantage. I play on uh, 1440p as well, 165 hertz. Would really like to get a 4K 144 hertz monitor, but that's even that's pushing it for these cards. But uh, I'm just so happy I was able to get my hands on one of these. This is the sick looking eye that just stares into your soul. Gigabyte gaming OC 10 gigs with RGB Fusion 2.0, Wind Force. OC edition, four years warranty. NVIDIA Ampere Arch, ray tracing, DLSS. I always like reading the uh, promotional material in a, you know, movie announcer or a commercial voice. <laughs> Windforce 3X cooling system. The 3X unique blade fans feature alternate spinning and screen cooling for efficient heat dissipation. The pure copper plate and heat pipes enhance heat dissipation. Screen cooling. Extended heat sink design allows airflow to pass through, providing better heat dissipation. Wow, they really hate heat dissipation. They mention it multiple times. RGB Fusion 2.0. With 16.7 million customizable color options and numerous lighting effects, you can choose lighting effects or synchronize with other Aorus devices. Protection Metal Backplate. The metal backplate not only provides an aesthetical shape, but also enhances the structure of the graphics card to provide complete protection. NVIDIA, NVIDIA Ampere Architecture. New streaming multiprocessors improve throughput and efficiency versus the prior gen for a huge leap in performance. New ray tracing cores deliver great throughput and efficiency for a whole new level of ray tracing performance. New tensor cores massively boost gaming performance with DLSS and enable new AI capabilities. Anyways, that's um, <laughs> I'll leave it at that. I, what I really wanted with RTX and the 2080s and 3080s I did not have in my current 1080 is um, some of the NVIDIA software like that. Specifically, I'm thinking of, I believe it's called RTX Voice 
for when you're streaming, it can actually use AI, artificial intelligence, um, to do active background noise cancellation. If you haven't seen some of those videos, I really recommend it. Um, they're really cool. Like, it, it just isolates your voice, even if there's people in the background like banging on a hammer or, um, I don't know, someone else talking. If think if I get into streaming one day, which I really want to, um, this would be a really cool tool to do so. Why don't we open this up? Seems like a UPS. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit damaged in the corner, but that shouldn't be anything uh, majorly structural. This is an ASMR video after all, so we have to do some tapping. Fine, we'll get into it. Let's unbox this. Beautiful baby. Oops, let's put that over there. Really hungry. Gigabyte. When you're hungry in a app to base system like Uber, gig up up by the gig economy. I don't know. Okay, let's open it up. What do we got? I don't know why I'm whispering now. So this is like the instruction manual, a quick guide, and a little warranty pamphlet that I can go ahead and register. I do want to register a four-year warranty. Okay, what else we got? Some foam. Ooh, that's an interesting sound. Okay, that was, there we go. That's the best part of what's in this box. No, but we got, here it is. Just dig in. Here it is. I don't think there's anything else in this box. No, so I'm just gonna put this box back. Thank you. Oh. oh, it's in a very, very crinkly bag. Almost like the too crinkly when it gets a little uncomfortable. Let's try to be super careful with this. Vacuum sealed in here. 
tape that says gigabyte qualified. Whatever that is. This bag is so crinkly. is one honking system. Oh, this is a big boy. I mean, it's bigger than my head. Whoa. Try fan design. Gigabyte, gigabyte, gigabyte. And uh, it's pretty minimal on the RGB, which I, I really, I don't, I think my case is closed anyways to have better or have less sound. So I really did not care. But when hunting for 38 is at this, at this time, you really cannot afford to be picky on which model you would get. I This was just the first one that I saw um, become available. I was just like, yep, sure, add the card. Okay, we're good. So if you plug in like this, so you'll be able to see um, all the connectors there. It has one, two, two HDMI ports and three Display ports to plug into the different monitors. Um, metal plate here. Have you ever had NVIDIA thirty eighty graphic card ASMR before? None of the pins look bent, so that's good. That's a two eight pin connectors. All that internals and heat sinks. Here's the connector. I need to remove that before I plug it in. Oh, this is like a three slaughter. Big boy. Wow. Oh. This is huge. Okay, I think we're gonna open up my old system now. And I can take out what I currently have, the 1080. I just wanna compare them side by side to see how ridiculous this thing is. This is massive. You know, mostly for the, uh, the cooling system. Okay. That's how should I do this. I'm going to go and leave this. Oh, what's it? Lay this down. Okay. Um, yeah, this is fine. Oh, I'm just going to take off some of these here. The case screws pop off the case. this down. Okay. Because you can't really see, but I mean, it's not too vile that you see what's going on. Try to unplug some of the eight pin connectors. to unscrew this here and inside the case. And just gotta unpop it from the PCIe slot. So here is the EVGA FTW 1080. 
not 1080 Ti or anything, just a, a 1080. Oops. So this was a two fan setup. And this one, oh, it's so big. So three fan. I mean, so that's considered it's heavier too. Also, also my left hand, which is weaker. But I mean, look at that size difference. Actually, this one looks a little bit thicker. But, but ow, ow, I was pointing at something pointy middle. I mean, it's it's a little bit. It's it's definitely bigger too. Wider, taller. I mean, like lengthwise. Just lay it down flat, right? That's like a good, I don't know, three or four inches longer. I did check with my uh, case to make sure I'd have room, and I do. So we're good in that front. So here's my old 1080, which, I mean, it did me well. EVGA, solid brand to me. No, no problems there. Never had Gigabyte before. Um, I mean, this was my first um, desktop build. At least this 1080. So this is my first GPU upgrade. A good four years it lasted me. So that's a lot of fun. But we're calling in reinforcements now. Okay. I mean, so we got a lot of stuff. Oh, I forgot to mention also. I did purchase uh, one other thing, and this was a um, uh, just a little GPU support. Um, it's called a. Uh, the brand is up here. It's a little bar, basically that. Um, that just it, it it goes into the same slot as the um, graphics card connects to the, uh, the the connector right here, and it basically just helps hold up the graphics card because these things are so heavy, you don't want it to like break and sag out of the PCIe slot. So this is supposed to help that problem by providing just a little extra support. So I think now I am, I'm gonna move the camera in so you can like see what's going on in here. So I will be, just one moment. Okay, we've moved you a little bit closer and there's this big gaping hole now in my uh, graphics card or where it should go rather. So I'm just gonna grab this boy here. Oh. So I'm going to have to like, well, I guess I'll go like this. So I'm going to have to like shove it in somehow and get it, get it standing up. Uh, hopefully nothing, uh, nothing hits. So let me just take off the connector here, the little plastic covering. Okay. Let's see about this. So, oh goodness. Gonna line it up just right. That should be connected now. Pretty, pretty simple. Should be connected. Let's just let's plug in the two um, power. Units, so it's, it's bigger. This is gonna hopefully this can actually still fit right here. It's, it's, it's so much thicker. This is like gonna be squeezed up. I think it's still gonna fit though. Come on. 
talking about putting it in the wrong way? No, oh, it explains it. I was putting it in the wrong way. I think this is actually flipped compared to... Um, yeah, this is flipped compared to how my EVGA was. That, and it actually explains a lot. I keep all four of them together. I guess we bent at such a weird angle because I want to set up a, the opposite way last time. I don't want to bend any of the pins in here either, but they should be pretty resilient. Okay, there we go. Graphics cards in there. I got this anti-sag thing as well. My system does not need to look pretty because because my my thing is closed anyway, so I don't really care how it looks. So this is supposed to just lay right on top of this here. I need to remove one more. So just lay on top of this here. And use a couple different connectors. So you can put some connector on here. Wherever it goes best. Oops, that was upside down this so you put it on here and then it's supposed to hold it up I think I need to use actually I think that works pretty well just to hold it up to prevent any sagging so we're going to uh, I need to get some of the screws I have the screws ready okay let's get some of these screws ready Make sure those are back in place. This is where it needs to be. Oops. That's nice and simple. Screw in some of these other ones. We got more, two more connections. Hmm. This needs to be a little bit further in. Actually, I have to use one of these skinnier ones that I provided with. We'll see if this works. Seems like it. Let's get that GPU nice and tight so there's no risk of it falling out. And one more right here. It's not really even tightening, it's gonna just always can be tightened up more. Let's try using one of my other ones and see if that does anything. Oops. I really should have been wearing my anti-static bracelet for this. But uh I did forget. Oopsies. Oh yeah, that 
one's tightening a lot better. Okay, so I mean, it's in there. It's it's like it's dominating the size. Okay, so this up here thing isn't even touching. So they actually have a different connection. That you can slide on. I need this to be like not quite as big. Put this like right. Was too big. Let me let me try going back to that smaller one. I think I'm actually unable to adjust to. Adjust down or up in this case. So we'll put it like there for for now. Let me just uh, adjust some of these. Loosen them up. Oops. I don't want to completely take them out. Just loosen them up and then move this thing forward. Okay, there we go. Move it up like that. Is that connecting on a, to a good spot? I don't want to hit feet on a fan. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Let's just pull this back. No. It wants to automatically to push itself back, but we got to just hold it in place, prevent it from doing so. I don't know if this actually does anything or if sag is really detrimental to the system, but I, I, I didn't want it to sag. I think I saw some testing show that it didn't really do anything, but meh. I, uh, I'll have it there just in case anyways. So that's in place. That's holding that up. Not touching anything important. Good. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, it, it's it's a pretty easy install. Um, I'm gonna go adjust back the cameras. One second. Well, um, it's it's back in the case. Everything's looking pretty good. You know, relatively easy despite it being seven hundred and. $50 <laughs> and very scary to work with because you don't want anything to happen, but everything looks nice and snug in there. Um, just have to connect all the connectors back to my PC. Oh, let's put back on the, uh, the case or you know, the, uh, the, the, the door that one's called the door, the window to the walls. Let's get that back in there. And I mean, you're basically watching Linus Tech Tips ASMR here. Linus, if you're watching, um, I'm not nearly as knowledgeable as you, but I could provide some fun ASMR. Or even more so, I've been watching um, Gamers Nexus. They're probably my go to um, computer parts channel when I'm looking up like the differences between 3080s and how the 3080 performs. But uh, it's installed. Only thing I have to do now is um, plug it all in, download all relevant drivers, and it should be up and running. That powerful beast. Still have my old 1080. Um, when I moved everything to this system, I, uh, you know, I still have my old motherboard, my old CPU, my old case, my old case fans. I'll probably just put this back.
back into that system. And I think I need to add a hard drive or something. And I got a whole other complete computer. Maybe I'll try to sell that or um, you know, maybe at a good price to a friend that I, I can coerce into start PC gaming. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean, this thing will still have its uses. Just, I gotta have top of the line. I mean, I'm space age ASMR, not freaking copper age ASMR. We look to the future. We look up there. And, and, and not, not just the roof, but like beyond that. Like the sky and the stars. And we keep going because we got the best. We basically installed a space shuttle engine into a gaming desktop. That's basically what this is. All the, all the thrusters that make it go. That's what a GPU is. Next, I think I, uh, I do want the latest AMD CPU though. Zen 3, 5900X. Hmm. 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 I think that's my next purchase. Needs to be a new motherboard and the processor, but it will be dominating to help me make better videos for you, quicker videos, everything. Because I want the best. And I want the best for all my friends out there. This computer is now freaking amazing. I hope you enjoyed this 3080 ASMR video. Get some ASMR tingles, um, computer parts tingles. I haven't seen a lot of channels do ASMR computer disassembly and reassembly. So I hope you enjoy. It's always so much fun making these videos for you. Now I'm really excited to try out my new graphics card. So I think I'm going to go do that now. Thank you so much for watching my friends.